sorry because I usually use Webex, so this uh, kind of platform is a uh, new for me. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, as you can see, it's a uh, topic three, right? About leadership story from Ohio State and Michigan, right? Okay. Yes, Miss. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so um, shall we start or we need to wait for Miss Ernie, uh, Dr. Ernie? Uh, we wait for Dr. Ernie first because okay. she will moderate your discussion actually. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's good, All right, okay. But now, uh, yes, Miss. Was uh, Bu Ar Arjun in? Yeah, uh, in? she's here, Doctor Nur oh, Arjun. She's yeah, she's oh. here. Oh yeah, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahirabbil Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrofil mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Rabbi sholli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yaqulu First, uh, praise be to Allah the, and salawat uh, and salam uh, be uh, open to Allah, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And I welcome to Miss Nur Ajrun, yeah, from UUM, who will Miss Sorry uh, USM defer deliver the topic yeah and the exchange lecture in this afternoon miss miss nur ajrun yeah ah yeah yeah ibu Sorry. ah yeah <laughs> hi miss uh, uh, ernie how are you okay yeah Oke, okay, uh, welcome Bu uh, Nur Azrun ya. Iya, yeah, betul. Ya, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yang nanti akan memberikan uh, lecturer ya yeah, in this uh, UNY uh, IGOF uh, class in the leadership uh, lecture. And I 
appreciate uh, for, um, for your opportunity to this uh, change, yeah. And uh, sorry, from USM, yeah. <laughs> yeah, USM. <laughs> from USM, yeah. And the, uh, uh, the past semester, the, the, there are the exchange yeah, from the UUM, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. <laughs> from is from UUM, yeah, the Bu Nur Azrun from USM, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Bu Azrun, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe I uh, pardon, yeah, for uh, for the Bu Azrun, uh, for Bu Azrun because uh, we will, uh, we uh, didn't have the yeah, relation or interaction the, uh, from this moment because, yeah, I have uh, COVID-19 and uh, I uh, have isolation in uh, the hospital from 10 days. And after that, I had isolation in uh, my home, yeah. And uh, maybe it is, uh, uh, yes, uh, difficult me to make the good mood, yeah, to learning uh, and then, uh, yeah. yeah, because this is the long effect from the COVID-19, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, so sorry for, uh, to go. Ajrun, <laughs> it is my uh, first, yeah meeting for uh, and uh, make the first interaction yeah first introduction for Azunetis. i'm so sorry <laughs> it's okay everyone infected by covid 19 uh -uh. okay mm -mm. yeah <laughs> uh -uh. and uh, it is also in malaysia yeah the con this condition it's, uh, yeah in malaysia it sudden <laughs> drastically increasing cases yeah recently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, but it's it's already started vaccination. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we will see how how it goes. Oh. oh, yes, yes. But we now in the phase of CM uh, CMO uh, uh, -uh. uh restricted movement. So uh, -uh. uh yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. We are still uh hoping for the best because of this uh -uh. vaccination oh. and. Yeah, even though it's, it's a CMO, but the, oh. the cases is increasing drastically. Mm. Uh. Mm. Yes, yes. The, even you, though, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, even sterile done on lockdown until now? Yeah. USM? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm sorry if I can get your mean, if, if, I, uh -huh. if I can answer your question, okay, because uh -huh. I heard echo. Um, uh -huh. In USN, we have online class, same with this, but we are uh -huh. not using a WebEx platform because they have several issues, like previous issue with the Zoom. So uh -huh. the USN, they are switched to a WebEx. Uh -huh. So that's why the first time I'm going to find where is the tool to share. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <point. Okay. laughs> yeah, yes, okay. Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, the topic or the uh, slide is, uh, yeah, ready, yeah, to deliver. And it is, uh, uh, please uh, open this meeting with, with Basmala, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, and uh, uh, for the presentation, uh, for the presenter, uh, the title of the uh, presentation and the is uh, leadership theory for from Ohio State and Michigan. Yeah, uh, we know that their theory is the behavioral theory. Yeah, uh, the beginning of the theory and leadership is. We know that there are the three theory uh, focus on the character, the good character, and the in the leader. And after that, we know that uh, the the change of the theory to 
uh, behavioral theory. And the IO said, and Michigan, uh, they are from the behavioral theory, focus on the behavior uh, or the structure, yeah, and the, uh, the leader. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, kepada Ibu Nur Ajrun, uh, time for you. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ermi, uh, Miss Ermi, for your uh, introduction. So, and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Actually, this is my first time also doing uh, yeah. uh, teaching the collaboration. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will try do my best in terms of deliver the content. And maybe after yeah. this, I will share my contact number. If yeah. it's allowed, I will share maybe with the student if they have something regarding this topic because yes. as I can see from your syllabus after this in the they have to uh, cover topic one until topic five if I'm not mistaken yeah Miss Ernie and then they yes. have to um to to be accessed by yeah. uh, quizzes right or they have yeah. an assessment to cover topic one until topic five so including mm -hmm. Uh, my content so it yeah. is uh, allowed by UMR, UMY I don't mind to share my email or my contact number if maybe uh, the students or mm -hmm. or some they want to ask anything regarding mm -hmm. or maybe I I'm willing to share my powerpoint to Miss Ernie so that Miss Ernie will uh, able to disseminate to the student so yeah. this uh, from my point of view but everything is depend on UMY yeah yeah okay. yeah right yeah. So <laughs> I will do it my I will do it my start and I'm I'm so sorry if yeah if you have any question and then from the student okay uh you may yeah. interrupt okay so so this topic uh is uh from the behavioral theory of leadership okay that is uh, from the previous research okay uh from the University of Ohio and also Michigan okay. So this is a uh, topic we'll cover for next week as well. Okay. So from 19 slide, uh, maybe inshallah we'll cover for uh, today classes and next class we maybe gonna have um, I will show you some kind of a case study so that we can relate with the uh, theory and able to understand the um, real situation is more on the adaptable. So for this uh, first meeting. Uh, this kind of an uh, exposure to the theory, the explanation. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Uh, so this is the learning objective. So what I'm in for this uh, topic is the student will able to describe the leadership behaviors, uh, the different method for developing taxonomy of leadership behavior and understanding why tasks and behavior are important for leadership to be an effective leader and understand how specific types of tasks and relation behavior can be used uh, to ensure the effective effectiveness of leadership okay all right so as an introduction um actually this uh theory ohio leadership theory begins by examining the early research on leader behavior conducted by psychologists in 1915 meaning they have done a research on to studies about leadership behavior Okay, so much of the research on leadership behavior is during the past five decades, meaning it's long time ago, they already studied about leadership. Okay, so that is shown to us that leaders is a very important to understand the, their patterns, their leadership behavior. Okay, and then the pioneering research program started at Ohio State University. This is from the best of um, my concert, it started um, at the university to study about the behavior of leadership. Okay, so through this study, okay, they would distribute the questionnaire research on effective leadership behavior. Um, okay, at the, uh, during 1950s, okay, and the initial task of the researcher during that time is actually to identify category of relevant leadership behavior and develop questionnaire to measure how often a leader use this behavior okay uh, they, they 
uh, will come up with several questionnaire and then to identify the pattern of uh, leadership behavior. Okay, we will identify others after this what kind of uh, leadership pattern. Okay, so the researcher compiled a list of about 1,800 examples of leadership behavior, meaning they do collect in a data about uh, 18,000 example, okay, and then reduce to the list of 150 items. That item represent the leadership behavior, okay. So that becomes a good example of important leadership, okay. And uh, after that, a preliminary questionnaire composed of these items were used by sample of military and civilian personnel to describe the behavior. To be a supervisor. So this is an introduction. Just want to show you how this business started. How this Ohio leadership theory started. Okay. Uh, so it take place 1950, meaning during that time researcher. Okay, they were they identify the pattern. They do some collection data about 18,000 example, and then they shortlist into 150 example of the good relationship behavior. And then they will start uh to use that kind of questionnaire to collect a data from the military perspective and also from the civilian to measure their supervisor. Okay, so this is an introduction yeah, about the how it take place. Uh, okay. All right, and then, uh, okay, this is the pattern that they will study from the oh, Ohio State. Okay. Uh, from the questionnaire, it will test the factor analysis. Okay, don't bother about that analysis. Okay, uh, so, uh, based on that, they will identify the subordinate perceive their supervisor behavior primarily in terms of two broadly defined category. Okay, so this is the um the pattern or leadership behavior. Okay, they will identify two uh, taxonomy, which is consideration and uh, initiating structure. Okay. So this Ohio, they will focus on two type of um behavior, leadership behavior, which is consideration, meaning considerate, okay, and then structure. Structure is more focused on the somebody that are really uh, structure, which is uh, rules, uh, straight, okay. These two types of behavior were re relatively independent, okay, meaning they are not, in the, they are not uh, interrelated with each other, okay, they are stand alone. Okay, so which means that a leader used one of this behavior, okay, not necessarily the same as his or her use of the other behavior. So now you understand that Ohio leadership, they are focused on two behavior, which is consideration and initiating structure. How they are going to distribute this uh, research together, the data is by doing questionnaire factor, uh, sorry, factor analysis. Okay. So what is consideration? Consideration is normally we refer in um, in in Malaysian word, sorry, okay, or in um, Malay um, um Malay custom, Melayu, okay. Uh, consideration is normally refer to the people who are able to tolerate, who are able to uh, open their mind, to listen for others' opinion, to listen from the yeah, lower subordinate opinion, okay. So this category of behavior involves leader concern for people and interpersonal relationship. This leader acts in a friendly and supportive manner and show uh, concern for the need and feeling of subordinate. For example, including doing a personal favor for subordinate, finding time to listen, okay, and backing up for a. Um, Defending a subordinate, consulting with subordinate and important matter, and being willing to accept suggestion for subordinate. Okay, so meaning they are open and tolerate to hear the uh, lower subordinate opinion. So to able to open mind. Okay, in order to to hear what's the problem of their subordinate, meaning they are tolerate person. They are tolerate. Um, behavior or taxonomy okay uh, so that is a one is a consideration okay and then we have another um uh, what is this uh it's um behavior sorry or patterns okay which is initiating structure okay 
Okay, in certain structure, if you refer to someone, they are uh, rigid, they are straight, okay, and uh, they are not willing to uh, to accept lower subordinate opinion, okay. So this category of behavior involves leader concern for accomplishing the task. Of course, yeah, everyone as a leader, they want to accomplish the task perfectly, but they are they have a several attitude, several behavior that will be studied in this Ohio. Okay, that, that one is the uh, first it's about consideration, and this one is in certain structure. Both uh, behavior are actually aimed to accomplish the task with a different approaches. Okay, so the leader defines and structure his or her own role and the role of subordinate towards the attainment of the task goal. Example include assign, assigning tasks to subordinate, maintaining definite standard to performance. Okay. Uh, asking subordinate to follow standard procedures and emphasizing the importance of meeting deadline, criticizing poor words and coordinating the activity of different subordinate. Okay, so this is an example of the leader behave more on initiative structure. They are more rigid, they are more strict, but um, they are follow procedure. Okay, uh, they are not willing to listen to the lower subordinates' opinions. Okay, but they are more strictly to identify job description. Okay, uh, towards the accomplishment of the task without any consideration. Okay, so that is two type of uh, behavior under the Ohio leadership story. Uh, you have to remember lah, that is a two type. Okay. So uh, this is an example of a survey studies okay, under the Ohio. How they are going to uh, collect a data, what kind of opinion, what is the result based on the two story, what is actually the best to accomplish the organization mission, what is the best to accomplish the organization task. Okay. So example, example there, a study by Fleshman and Harris 1962 provide one of the best example of correlational theories on consideration and in a certain structure. Okay, so uh, this is one of the old school, old time studies about this Ohio. Okay, they are using this uh, theory to identify which one is the best type of uh, leadership behavior that uh, most favor by the subordinate, that most accepted way by the subordinate, that is uh, the best uh, to achieve the goal of uh, organization. Because you have to remember, okay, uh, we as a human being, as a people, we actually um, um, want to do a word um, with um sincerely want to do the work but we also uh, require we also need the leader that can guide us at the same time which is a tolerate right uh, meaning they will hear our opinion okay so that is the importance of this study okay so this study started at uh, sorry was conducted in a truck manufacturing plant okay uh, dekat kawasan pertilangan i'm sorry to use bahasa malaysia okay sorry of the international harvesters company okay so the criteria of leadership effectiveness included the number of written grievances and the amount of voluntary turnover during an 11 month of period okay so this is the um the method i'm sorry uh the the how they conduct the study okay by writing grievances and the amount of voluntary turnover okay uh, so this is um something that's important here okay uh, meaning they are going to understand they are going to study which one is the best behavior by doing this okay uh, writing grievances and the amount of voluntary turnover Okay, we usually uh, would like to think that if if we quit a job, meaning there is something wrong with the organization, there is something wrong with the workflow, there is a, something uh, that we cannot adapt with the leadership staff. Okay, 
So supervisor we will considerate have fewer grievances and less turnover in their words unit than supervisor who were low on consideration. So from this study, the type of consideration behavior uh, got more vote from the subordinate and the subordinate they are happy if they have this type of leader. Okay. So the relationship was in the opposite direction for initiative structures, supervisor who use a lot of structuring behavior have more turnover and grievances. Okay, meaning the subordinate they are not satisfied if the leader are more too strict on the uh, structuring, too strict on the uh, job description. Okay, meaning they are not willing to uh, to hear the problem from subordinate to understand from. It's easy to say that they are not willing to hear from something to the bottom. Okay, uh, so there is the study result, the study by the Switchman and Harris. Okay, uh, so the result ataupun hasil, or sorry, the hasil um, from this study. Okay, so they are more focused on the uh, consideration type of leadership we have. Okay. So this is one example of um, the study are using Ohio, okay? So the result in the survey research, okay, so Ohio State Leadership Questionnaire, uh, you remember last time I talked about the uh, 18,000 sample of questionnaire, okay, and modified version, which is 150 sample, but don't bother us what the number that is not as important, just want to give some... Uh, knowledge, okay, some overview, what's behind the story of this, um, this, this uh, story, okay, sorry. So, and this questionnaire and modified version of 10 has been used in hundreds of survey studies to determine how the two types of leader behavior are related to subordinate satisfaction or performance. Okay, uh, so this is the binary. That's why this is the important to understand the how it started, how it took place, and what is the first study that conducted by using Ohio questionnaire. Okay, so the only strong and consistent finding in the survey research was a positive relationship between consideration and subordinate satisfaction. Of course, they have a positive significant eh? uh, hubungan, uh, sorry, relationship, um, um, that relationship is a positive in between of consideration and subordinate performance. Of course, we are happy, we are willing to do more job if the leader is considered, the leader are uh, the leader are open-minded, they are willing to hear our opinion, they are willing to hear our problem. So that is the best leader. So it's like it, it can be, for example, like a politician, right? When they are doing a campaign, they go to the uh, rural area, they go to the suburban area, they want to hear uh, the problem from the people we say. So that is referred to the something good based on the consideration compared to the uh, initiating structure. Okay, initiating structure usually they have insignificant relationship with the performance of the subordinate because people people are still not happy that we are not willing to do a good for the organization. We are not willing to do um, more because of uh, leadership is too uh, stressful, okay, are too straight and too rigid. Okay. So meanwhile, initiative structure was not consistently related to subordinate satisfaction. In some studies, subordinate were more satisfied with a structuring leader, okay, but other studies found the opposite relationship or no significant relationship. Okay, in here, uh, in some studies, subordinate were more satisfied with a structuring leadership. Okay, we may refer to the um this is one also one of the key important, okay? So it's not necessary that if you consider you if you play a role as a consider leader, that subordinate will uh, happy with you and will increase performance. That's uh, even though it's uh, proven, but somehow they also have a subordinate that more satisfied with the structuring leader, okay? Meaning in the setting 
structure uh, leadership type. For example, in military, uh, okay, uh, in military, they have um, they need to ensure that subordinate is a follow orders. Uh, okay, uh, rules mix by uh, top division, uh, no bottom up. Okay, uh, so because there is some of the organization, uh, they require that kind of strategy leadership leadership style, especially in military. Okay. So meanwhile, consideration and in the setting structure both have a weak positive correlation. Okay. Okay, meaning uh, both have a pro and contra. Okay. So uh, but uh, today I will not share share to you uh, details about the comparison, similarity, or differences. Okay. Uh, by next week on March uh, 10, okay, I'm going to share with you about the weak um, correlation or relationship. Okay, it does not necessary about the similarity and differences. We are talking more on that um, next week classes, inshallah. Okay, so this just gets to give you an overview. Okay, what this story uh, mentioned. Okay. So, uh, but here again, the correlation was not significant in many of the studies. Okay, uh, so that's not guarantee of we people will were so happy with the consideration type. Okay. Uh, so this is the uh, figure that just want to show with you. Uh, from the turnover at the vertical is a turnover rate. Uh, turnover, okay. Turnover subordinate meaning they are uh, switching another job. They are uh, quit. Um, they quit job, okay, because they are not happy with the uh, leadership style, okay. So and then uh, on the horizontal we have a consideration, okay. Uh, based on this. Okay, if the more consider, the more considerate the leaders, okay, meaning the lowest turnover rate. Okay, uh, you can see right from this uh, figure, uh, the, the shape, okay, the shape is uh, lower, okay, the shape of turnover rate is lower. Okay, if more, the more consider the leader, okay, the more turnover rate, meaning people are happy to work with the organization. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so meaning um, that is based on the uh, Fleshman and E.F. Harris uh, study, okay, 1962 at the uh, manufacturing um, organization. Okay. All right. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any question, you can in always interrupt. You can uh, ask me, okay. All right. And then uh, this is another example. Okay, still at the vertical, we have turn oven rate and then horizontal, we have, uh, this is uh, the second type of leadership behavior, which is we have initiative structure. Okay, as I already told you that initiative structure is more referred to the person that are strict, they are not happy to hear from the bottom of the subordinate, they don't want to identify uh, what is the really problem they are more focusing on the to accomplishing tasks no matter what um what we simple in simple word i can say they are more rigid and straight person okay uh, so based on these studies based on these studies only okay by still by fleshman and ef Harris uh, in the manufacturing plan okay so um the higher the structure, the higher the strictness of the leadership, okay, it increasing the turnover. See? Uh, it increasing the turnover rate. Okay, meaning maybe people are not happy to work in the organization. Okay, maybe they have the uh, an issue, meaning they have a problem of communication. As you can see, I'm sure everybody knows the level of the organization. They have the hierarchy, right? They have the top management, they have supervisor, they have a big supervisor, uh, they have a lower subordinate, okay? Meaning they have a pro one example, maybe they have a problem to communicate with the top management, 
Uh, so they, their issue is stuck with that. Okay, so they are not, they are feeling not happy, so they are quitting job. Okay. It's like in, in here, uh, the leader try to treat people as an um, as a person that um, to, co to accomplish us, okay? uh, to accomplish us only without any compensation, uh, without any uh, compliment if they are doing good job and everything. Okay? So this is uh, an example. I hope you can see it clearly from these uh, two figures. Okay. So uh, this is a, a summarization of what type, what, what an example of the consideration behavior, what an example of eliciting structure behavior. Okay. So um, still vertical and horizontal, they have a four window here. Uh, low structure, meaning they have a high consideration. For example, the less emphasized is placed on structure employee tasks where the leader concentrate on satisfying employee needs and want because they believe if the subordinate happy they fulfill the subordinate needs and want okay they are more considerate and their performance will be higher okay um meanwhile the low structure is referred to leader fail to provide necessary structure and demonstrate little consideration for employee needs and want so meaning they are uh, low considerate, they are focused on initiative. Okay, they are focused to the structure of the organization. Meanwhile, high structure is referred to the low consideration. If leader provide a lot of guidance about how tasks can be completed while being highly considerate of employee needs and why. Okay, the windows number two, okay, high structure and high consideration is the best. Okay, it's the best type of leadership. Uh, behavior that uh, found out from Ohio uh, state leadership style. Okay, but uh, in reality, in real life, it's a very hard to to be able to react. Okay, um, meaning, uh, how come you are going to have that? Uh, at the same time, you are uh, really structured, really rigid, but at the same time, you are considering you are consider you are tolerant with the subordinate. Okay, but it's the best thing, but uh, it's usually it's a very hard to achieve based on the research. Okay, I'm talking about based on the research, especially based on the research that I could hear uh, in 1952. Okay. All right. Uh, even though it sounds lame, the research is sound uh, lame, agak lama is old school in 1952, but there is a one study that break through the Ohio State. Uh, there are first study that are using this um, leadership theory. Okay, and from that theory, they will they identify the result of a significant relationship between of consideration and turnover and also initiative structure. Okay. So meanwhile, um, um, there is something. Um, not good and most organization might have to think about this leadership style which is high structure and low consideration uh, that is also is not good but will increase the lower performer will increase the uh, turnover rate okay primary emphasis is placed on structuring employee tasks while the leader demonstrate little consideration for employee needs and one okay so based on these four window the windows number two on top number two high structure and high consideration is the best but it's usually is very hard to find it's very hard to even though from the previous study they not um, discover this kind of leadership that um have uh, implemented both uh, style at the same time okay uh, i hope you are you can understand eh, what is uh, ohio leadership style theory uh, make sure you you remember they have a two types which is um, consideration and in a certain structure and both has um tested and has a big 
uh, impact on leadership performance, leadership studies are this now. Okay. All right. So, uh, so this is uh, another thing just I, I um, talk about, uh, already share about this, what is the considerations and the one is uh, interpersonal relationships, okay? And there are more, in the, at the same time, consideration is refer to the people oriented, okay? Meanwhile, in the certain structure, they are more prefer to the task oriented, okay? And they utamakan kerja, task oriented, okay? All right. Uh, okay, this is uh, another explanation. Uh, what is initiative structure uh, example? Uh, it's like, for example, here is scheduling, planning tasks without consider uh, and ensuring the group maintain organizational expectation, setting individual expectation, meaning they are more rigid in terms of the structure. But actually, you have to bear in your mind that uh, structure that planning is a good for organization. Every organization require clear job uh, description, job specification, and clear hierarchy of the organization. Okay, because ambiguity will also create less uh, performance. Will also may cause the um, less satisfaction from the subordinate. Okay, uh, so that's why based on this window. High structure and high consideration is the best, but it's a very hard to achieve and it's a very hard to find in the real situation. Uh, but it is not impossible. We have we can see that many other um, multinational organizations like Google, like Microsoft, like iPhone organization, okay, how they react to the uh, situation. I uh, we can we I maybe can share with that kind of example of the real situation in the next, next uh, our next meeting. Okay, show what we, where I can show you um some of the example how the uh, leadership nowadays that's uh the best we can see that from this kind of a theory. Okay, all right. So now we, uh I will. Proceed with the Michigan Leadership Study. Okay, so uh, this same also uh, is kind of overview and explanation for you guys. What is a uh, Michigan Leadership Studies? Michigan is referred to the. I'm sure everybody everybody know is a uh, places is a uh, universities. Okay. So a second major program uh, of research on leadership behavior was carried out by researcher at the University of Michigan, okay, at approximately the same time as the Ohio State Leadership Study. Oh, okay, Ohio State uh, Leadership Study started 1950, so it's almost at the approximately the same, in the same period, okay. So, as you can, so it's something like, started 19, since 1950, people are already concerned about the importance of leadership behavior. Okay. So the focus of the Michigan research, okay, was the identification of relationship among leader behavior, group processes, and measure of group performance. Okay, uh, so the, this is the aim of this study. Okay, they want to identify the rela relationship among leaders behavior, which one is the best to achieve a uh, group performance, okay? The initial research was a series of field study with a variety of leader, okay? This study, this Michigan study, they pick a leader, okay? Uh, they select the leader and then they will uh, do a factor analysis, they will distribute a questionnaire in order to gather that uh, data or information okay including section manager in an insurance company okay so this study started at insurance conduct by michigan uh, university and it started at the insurance company that ohio is started at the um by fishman at the manufacturing uh, plantation okay so this uh, company, uh, the questionnaire is distributed to the leaders, to the section manager, 
Okay, meaning it goes to the from the top until the lower subordinate. Okay. Uh, supervisor in a, in a large manufacturing company and supervisor of railroad section gas. Okay, this is a, during that time they did an insurance company. They also have a supervisor at the railroad. Um, for the east of the section, supervisor also invited to answer the questionnaire to participate in the uh, studies. Okay. Okay, for your information, in order to identify the study is good or not, we can refer to the data, we can refer to the responder, we can refer to the how the sampling the the the, the, the research. Okay, uh, so the the use the sampling, the diversity of the sampling is will represent the good data. It will give the good input for the researcher. Okay. So information about managerial behavior was collected with interview and questionnaire, uh, meaning they done both method, qualitative and also quantitative. Okay, so the objective of this type of um, research is to gather more information by first is um, by the variety variety of uh, sampling and also the type of a research, okay? By interviews and questionnaire, meaning they have a both. They have a, a open-ended question, meaning the people will not stick to the answer uh, given by the researcher, and also they have a questionnaire question, meaning they already have an answer for that, okay? So meaning this study is not biased uh, to the certain, certain uh, answer, okay? That is the best thing because they have interview and questionnaires. Okay, compared that Ohio, they have the they only distribute a questionnaire. Maybe they will, maybe during that uh, studies, uh, the researcher will indirectly ask a question to the uh, respondent, but it not stated. But it only stated about the questionnaire. In this Michigan studies. Okay, they will done two types, which is interview and questionnaire. Meaning people or respondent, they have an opportunity to deliver their opinion. Rather than strictly focus on the answer given by the researcher. Okay. So objective measure of group productivity were used to classify manager as relatively effective or ineffective. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah. That is the by interview and questionnaire, they will ident identify which one is the most uh, effective of the group performance. Group performance is referred to subordinate performance. Okay. All right, for leadership behavior, uh, under the machine gun studies, they are more focused on um, three types of leadership behavior but they are also interdependent. They are not related with each other, okay? Between effective and also ineffective manager. First, uh, the study about task-oriented behavior, which is more towards on effective manager did not spend their time. Okay, this is an explanation. Eh? This is an example. What is a... Uh, uh, what is or task-oriented behavior, actually? Okay, um, for example, effective manager, they did not spend their time and effort doing the same kind of work as their subordinate. Yeah, because they want to achieve more. So why I need to do the same that it's let, let it be their subordinate do that kind of task. Okay, I as a leader, I need to figure, to create the vision, to create the new framework or approaches for the, for the organization. Instead, the more effective manager concentrate on task-oriented functions such as planning, create a vision and mission, future, uh, what should be done for the organization, and scheduling the work, coordinating subordinate activity, providing necessary supplies, equipment, technical assistance. Moreover, effective manager guided subordinate in setting performance goals that were uh, high, higher, but realistic. It's something like 
uh, they, if they are effective manager under the task oriented behavior, they have to be uh, open minded to create a future planning for other organization, meaning to identify the mission and vision for sustainable of the organization in future. Okay. Um, but in terms of the task, okay, they will create, they will identify what is the best, what should be done uh, by the subordinate in order to perform more, to increase uh, the performance. Okay. Meanwhile, for relation-oriented behavior, okay, relation is uh, relationship, meaning they are focused on the to create a good um a relationship with the subordinate. Okay, so the effective manager will also more supportive and helpful with subordinate. Okay, Sub supportive behavior that will correlated with effective leadership included showing trust and confidence. Okay, meaning as a leader, they want to build a good relationship with the subordinate. Okay, they trust their subordinate, they give, for example, they assign a job and then they give uh, authority to the subordinate to, to complete the job. So meaning at the same time, by doing that, okay, they uh, build a trust a relationship. Okay, in between of a leader and also subordinate. Okay, we of course as a subordinate, we are happy if our leader uh, trusted us, if our leader gives us some uh, opportunity that will make it easy for us to do a job. Okay? And of course, we are happy and then we are uh, we feel like uh, that leader uh, is actually uh, trusted us, believe in us or confident in us to do uh, some kind of job. Okay. And also at team friendly, um, open mind, open to hear the opinion and also considerate, trying to understand subordinate's problems, helping to develop subordinate and further their careers, okay? Keeping subordinate informed, uh, meaning all the communication, there is no boundary of communication. Uh, even though the communication is from the top to bottom, but sometimes they have the... Uh, supervise, supervisor that will identify, that will determine what is the problem from the lower subordinate. And that kind of input from the uh, group supervisor will be passed to the, uh, to the top management. So it's something like to keep subordinate informed. Okay. Uh, and then showing appreciation, for example, give a good compensation, give a compliment, either tangible or intangible uh, compensation. Okay, for example, like um, um, give a best certificate performance for the best uh, subordinate, okay, for the higher key performance indicator uh, achievement throughout the year. Okay, give a Increase the salary, there is a good thing here. Okay, In, uh, give um, um, what a good remuneration package. Uh, so there is a kind of example that show appreciation. Okay, and also a lot considerable autonomy. Uh, like I say, people are happy to do a job if the leader trusted, show their trust, uh, show their confidence to us by give some autonomy. Okay, you have to remember without autonomy, okay, without auto autonomy, without specific autonomy given with the job description and job specification, how um, how that one individual or one subordinate will do the best for their uh, job to accomplish the task. Uh, that's why we have a line manager, they have, uh, they have the range of autonomy that will give. That is a given by the leader, by the head of the organization to ensure the effectiveness of the, the, their process to try out to accomplish the work. Okay. And uh, allow considerable autonomy, okay, uh, and providing recognition for subordinate contribution and accomplishment. Okay. Now, this is a same like showing appreciation. So this is more on the um, behavior detail 
if the leader focus on the relationship uh, oriented. And the third leadership behavior under the Michigan study is participative leadership. Okay, hopefully you guys don't confuse eh, when you, you try to understand, when you try to explain uh, participative leadership is a different from the relationship oriented. Um, behavior uh, leadership oriented type of leader okay so participative is like if it is manager okay this is an explanation yeah, of this uh, use more group supervision instead of supervising each subordinate separately okay meaning they like to group their subordinate okay for example in five group in ten group of people and then they have a one leader that we call it as a participative leadership and then they will determine or identify the performance of that group if uh, that's Sorry, they will identify the performance based on the group performance. Not, it's like you do assignment group. Okay, okay. It's like you doing assignment group, and then the the marks or the any uh reward, any recognition will be equally received by uh by the group, right? Uh, so because this participative type of leadership, they believe that people will need to mingle. Okay, need to do brainstorming, need to uh, talk, um, need to build a network, networking among the subordinate. Okay, we, we cannot stand alone, uh, we cannot just do it uh, in front of the computer, okay, we also, but we also need a team to make sure that the performance is better and is higher. I'm sure you 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 guys have an experience, right? We are doing assignments individuals and doing assignments grouping. Of course, there has many obstacles, but they also give an opportunity to put a networking, opportunity to know each other, opportunity to to deliver more based to deliver outstanding performance. Okay. So in this uh, participative leaders, group meeting facilitates subordinate participation in decision making, will improve communication, promote cooperation and facilitate conflict resolution. Okay, so this one eh, you have to, um, to be able to open your mind to see that how, how that's important to improve communication. Imagine, for an example of a Google organization or Amazon organization or Microsoft organization or uh, government's organization, okay? Uh, so they have a many subordinate and many flavor of subordinate. So by doing this grouping, the top um, management, uh, the board of the organization will only give information to the supervisor or to the group leader and because it's a cap huge capacity of the organization it's a very hard to do a communicate for example like nowadays it's not everyone can enter um, sorry everyone can get their access to the internet not everyone are able to online at the same time maybe you are a bit late maybe you have a internet problem so by doing this participative by group people the leader are hoping that uh, the group leader will give the information will disseminate the same information to their subordinate to their lower subordinate so it's um it's like um it's like the best way are uh, not um it's like the best way by not giving, uh, by not put so much effort to deliver the communication. Uh, for example, like we, we can see that is uh, from the, it's a big organization. They have a lot of people. Not everyone are, are, are being called to the end, to the meeting, right? Uh, because they have uh, capacity and, um, and the, the time constraint. So that is the one of the best team if they are doing a group, okay? 
So, um, and the role of the manager in group meeting should be primarily to guide the discussion and keep it supportive, constructive and oriented toward problem solving. Okay, by doing this, the leader has a actually a big responsibility to ensure the, the among the group members the effectiveness the flow of the communication is still supportive and okay and then try to discuss or trying to solve the problem uh, so that is one of the my personally i think that is one of the best thing to do the participative leadership compared than if you are more towards the relationship okay because here you are measure the performance at the same time you hear your subordinates problem uh, you can see that uh, they are good good networking and supporting each other okay all right so that is an uh, explanation of the three types of behavior that we studies under the Michigan's um, leadership study theories okay Okay, so um, because of this more performance on the group performance, we can consider it as a peer leadership. Okay, so peer leadership is referred to the group effectiveness will depend more on the overall, overall quality of leadership in a word unit than on who actually perform the function. However, the possibility of shared leadership does not imply that it is unnecessary to have a designer leader. Okay. According to Bowers and Seashore, 1956, okay, this is from the book, and eh, there are both common sense and theoretical reason for believing that a formally acknowledged leader through his supervisory leadership behavior set the pattern of the mutual leadership with subordinate supply each other, okay? So meaning here, the group effectiveness is more depend on the overall quality of the uh, leadership performance. And the one of the best thing to increase the performance is by doing uh, grouping, by doing uh, participative leadership, okay? So uh, based on these uh, studies, okay, um, okay, they have um, come out with that scale to measure two task oriented behavior, which is either goal emphasize, work facilitation, and two relationship oriented behavior, which is supportive leadership and interaction facilitation. Okay. in a review of results from research on 21 organization. Okay, so based on the three type of uh, leadership style, which is this one, task-oriented, relationship-oriented, and also participative leadership, they have another study that focus on that, which is by Bowers and Seashore, have been done on 21 organization. Okay. So there are studies about this to identify which one is the best, okay? So, and they found out that leadership behavior by leaders and peer was related to subordinate satisfaction and group processes, but the pattern of result very different, okay? Result, the pattern of result is different depending on the type of industry and the authority level of the manager. And that's why I say sometimes, um, like same with the Ohio, um, even though uh, the consideration is good, but some subordinate refer to the initiative structure because of their organization need or require them to be more strict and rigid, for example, like military. Okay, the same goes to this uh, to this uh, machine studies. Okay, uh, that kind of patterns, goal emphasize, and supportive leadership also vary based on the type of the industry and the, the level of the authority or the level of the 
uh, authority means the powers given by the leadership to the manager. Okay. All right. So this is a kind of summarization uh, from the long explanation. Okay. So based on the University of Michigan study, I have identified two leadership behavior, employee-centered and also production-centered. Okay. So employee based on the leader are more interested in subordinate. Okay. Meanwhile, the production center is more referred to the technical aspect. Okay. All right. And then, okay. So uh, after this, if you have any question, maybe you can ask me. Okay. Uh, Okay, so that is an overview to you guys only. What is the Ohio uh, and what is the Michigan's leadership behavior study? And how it started, what is the study has been done? Okay, and then uh, by next class, inshallah, I will share with you. We are still in the same topic, but more uh, on the... Case study, meaning an example, the real situation nowadays, organizations nowadays, uh, how they affected from the type of leadership. Okay. So as a conclusion, okay, from the 1915 to the mid-1918, research on leader behavior was dominated by a focus on two broadly defined categories of behavior, which is we we have been discussed about that, okay? So most study of leadership behavior during this period, they only use questionnaire measuring leadership consideration and initiative structure. Hundreds of study were conducted to see how these behavior were correlated, will have a connection in between of that pattern of behavior, okay? And other researchers use critical incidents, laboratory experiment or field experiment to investigate how leader behavior affects subordinate satisfaction and performance. Result from this massive research effort has been mostly inconclusive. Okay, because they have a very, they have a different result. However, the overall pattern of results suggested that effective leader use a pattern of behavior that is appropriate for the situation. Uh, for example, if you are the leader of a uh, military, okay, you are the brigadier general of a uh, military. So that is not uh, appropriate, that is not suitable to implement consideration, right? They are more focused on the planning, structuring, and they are more on the top order, okay? So, and it's reflect to the high concern for task objective and high concern for relationship. To determine what form of leadership is appropriate in a particular situation, it is still necessary to study the specific behavior rather than merely looking at the meta category. Meaning meta category is like, um, not by not only looking at the two broad category uh, has been done by this study. They have a several, they have a many uh, niche um, category or niche type of leadership that will need to be studied based on the situation. Okay. So I think uh, that's all for an overview. Um, an overview content, what is uh, Ohio uh, and what is a Michigan. Okay. So this one of the most um, influential, that is the most uh, related, relevant theory that has been tested uh, until nowadays. Uh, many PhD studies or master study, they are using this study to identify the best behavior of leadership. And of course, the result will be different based on the situation, based on the type of organization. But 
this is the backbone ha huh? okay this is the backbone of to identify about the leadership behavior okay so i think uh, i pass to miss uh, dr ernie sorry okay uh, and then inshallah we'll share with you guys about the example of a real situation based on this story okay so thank you um yeah i i don't know maybe uh how how your uh maybe it's a different method <laughs> of teaching style usm and umy usually i just want to share uh, dr Annie, after this after we done teachings online uh, we have a forum that forum is a uh, usn online learning okay uh, most of the literature uh, took initiative to create the forum online forum and then from that we will share the note and we open for discussion because sometimes students they have an internet problem they cannot participate well and after that we we open for a forum online forum for example about two or three days uh, within the particular topic and then we can discuss into that uh, maybe we can also share any reference uh, that that is why i just want to share what has been done because of this COVID actually because of this COVID, uh that method of teaching uh is popular <laughs> yes uh, okay but uh if if uh if if uh if i have to share this slide there is no no issue for me uh, i will, will email to me to miss Ernie. Thank you. All right. Uh, Miss Ernie, I think you forgot to unmute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for Miss Dr. Nor Azron Binti Holet, yeah, who had delivered about the uh, two theory and the basis the behavior theory we know that the uh, concept of the leadership is uh, yeah, a long uh, time study of uh, study uh, might be in the uh, one century yeah, the the history of the study in uh, leadership and in this uh, we uh, we'll uh, continue to discuss about this uh, topic in the next week. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for to Dr. Nur Ajrun Holet. Yeah. And we will meet again in the next week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. At the same time, right? At the same yeah. Time. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe just uh, one quick chair. Uh, I will write my email here if Miss Ernie yeah. allow. Uh, maybe maybe after this, uh, of course your student will ask you. But maybe uh, if you want, if your student your student want to ask something, uh, you can always email me. I just want to write my email address here. Okay. Yeah. So my email address is nurajun at usn dot my. Maybe if any of you guys, uh, dear student, if you have any uh, questions, uh, any confusions about this um, explanation, you are most welcome to email me. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. yes. Thank please. you very much. Uh, yeah. Miss Ernie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And then it's from from the uh, for, uh, from the students, my students. Any response? Not yet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it is the concept, yeah. Uh, not a relate, uh, might be, uh, uh, this we will discuss about the uh, real, yeah, real co correlation and the real condition, yeah, uh, in the Malaysia or the Indonesia example, example and the real condition, okay. Uh, thanks for uh, Ibu Dr. Nur Azrun, yeah, and uh, selamat selamat. Selamat. <laughs> yeah, selamat. <laughs>
<laughs> Take care. See you next. Yeah, we will uh, uh, meet again in the next uh, week. Yeah. Okay. Selamat, Ibu, ya selamat beraktivitas kembali. <laughs> Terima kasih, Bu. Iya, Anje. Terima kasih, Bu. Ya. Thank you. Iya, iya. Oke. Oke, I will end this session. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Thank you, Dok. Dr. Nur Ajrun, so we will meet in the next meeting next week. So uh, see you soon, guys, and uh, thank you also for our lecture, Miss Ernie. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mbak Nawang. Yeah. yeah see you welcome. soon. Yeah. See you soon.